my dear brothers and sisters we all one way or the other go through lots of problems in our personal life confusion stress anxiety tension fear and uh, un- uh, uncertainties about the future there are so many other problems apart from the sicknesses and body aches and uh, sufferings of our daily life financial bondages relationship problems there are so many things that are disturbing us and there are certain occasions we don't know what to do the next and we are in helpless situations and even end up in hopeless situations in such situations the best way to come out of our every crisis that we face is to worship him because that is why we are created that is the intention why god has created us we need to worship god once you start worshiping god the whole situation will be changed in the bible we read when king uh, saint paul and silas were in the prison when they were in the imprisoned they didn't know what to do because their hands and legs were chained and they were sent to the innermost to cell they were so frightened dis- disturbed and the persecution is going on against all the christians in palestine and these disciples were caught up in between let's read acts of the apostle chapter 16 verse 29 24 onwards we read like this these two disciples paul and silas following these instructions he put them in the innermost cell and fastened their feet in the stocks about midnight paul and silas were praying and singing hymns to god and the prisoners were listening to them my brothers and sisters these saint paul and saint silas both the both of them their hands were t- tied and they chained and their legs were chained both hands and legs were chained they were in the innermost cell along with the other prisoners and they were at midnight they couldn't sleep because the whole body is pay- aching and there is uncertainty is anxiety and stress and fear and t- confusion they can't sleep peacefully at b- that moment so what did they do in the midst of all the suffering instead of blaming others insulting others complaining to others and you know cursing themselves instead of doing that they start up praying and singing hymns to god they start up worshiping god that is the best thing that we can do in the situations like this the best thing that we can do in situations of hopelessness is praising and worshiping and singing hymns to god and the prisoners were listening to them none of the prisoners joined with them in praising god but they were just listeners and as they were listening to them what happened let's read verse 26 we read like this suddenly there was an earthquake so violent that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were opened and every one's chains were unfastened not only Paul's and Silas chains were unfastened even the the prisoners who were watching them looking at them just listening to them even their chains were broken when these two people praised god therefore my dear brothers and sisters all those who are going through a tight tight experience a difficult situation in your life do not worry do not be get tensed do not be stressed out do not be feeling hopelessness and just worship god wherever you are you will see all the chains that is tying you will be broken into pieces all the bondages will be taken away from your body not only yours but also for those people who you whom you pray for and therefore this is the assurance the lord is giving you and me